Hello everyone, I am James and you are watching Good Times Tech YouTube channel. Today let's see how to reset the password of this Samsung T5 portable SSD. Actually I lost the password of this SSD and all I need to do is contact the customer care and after contacting the customer care, when you contact to the customer care number, these are the two documents you will receive, two files, not the document, files you will receive. Just open these files. One is an Excel. So in this Excel, there are details like customer name, customer contact number, that is your contact number or the contact number of the person on whose name the invoice is being provided, customer's email ID, customer location, model code, serial number, 15 digit serial number which is there on the bottom of the SSD and date of purchase, purchasing bill from that is from which showroom you have purchased the SSD. If it is online you can mention online or the company which you have purchased from physical damage yes or no and issue reported by customer what is the issue password lost or forgot password the second document is this pdf format samsung portable solid state drive factory reset terms and condition the terms and conditions are here given are that Samsung does not bear any responsibility for the loss of your data and so on. You need to read the whole document and you can sign it. Just here you need to enter the model number, serial number and here the signature, then name of the customer that is your name, title, you are the owner or service provider something and date of the the date on which date you are signing this document or file. In the, after filling these two files, send them back to the email ID that has been given to you. It just reply to the email ID along with these two attachments. Then they will send you an software, an exe file, executable file. Then now after you receive the executable file, in the email itself, click on the open tab, which I am sure going to show you continuing the video. Click on the open. And it opens a new window. Click on download. And when you click on download, it will come here. Google Drive can't scan this file for viruses download it anyway so the download will start as you can see the download has started here the download is already complete so we need to install the file now click here now say show it in folder or you can open it directly let me see it in the folder here it has downloaded double time no worries just double click on that please select the portable hard drive so what we need to do is the hard drive need to be connected to the system as I have connected it here to my system on the left here you can see I have connected it keep it connected Here it says that it is not yet connected. So let me see. Let me connect it once again. The light of the SSD is glowing. It is connected. No locked PSSD found. It says no portable SSD found. So let me check once again, connect it to the other port and check. After reconnecting the SSD, it is showing here. So now I need to 
click on get your key so now what I need to do is I have to send this key to the I need to email this to the authorized person here it says please enter the key received from the service center so now I will send this key to the service center people then when I receive the key I will continue with the flashing or resetting of the hard drive sorry of the SSD now after you receive the key from service center just type the key in here in the empty boxes okay now just click on do factory reset factory reset is successful but the only sad part of the, about this is all the data on your SSD will be lost so let's check it now Okay, I have removed the hard disk. Now I'll reconnect it once again. Let us check it. See, security mode is disabled. Complete. If your disk is not showing in the computer, if the disk is not showing, just right click on the this PC, click on manage. And when this window appears, so just click on disk management. Here you can see you must initialize a disk before th that means our the SSD is not being formatted, it is a, like an raw partition. So we need to create it. So now we need to create the disk. Right click new simple volume next 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 perform a quick format ntfs next finish okay now the disk is ready here you can see this is the ssd partition if you want you can install the partition the samsung software in this and again encrypt the but this time see that you will not forget the password or if the password has been generated by itself then you will have to do the same procedure for resetting the hard disk hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching everyone have a good time